folks, it is time for Backlash 2024. Last year's Backlash was probably my favorite thing we've ever done in World Walk Entertainment. And this time, we're kicking things off just as hot as last year with a six-man tornado tag team elimination match for not only the tag team championships, but the hardcore championship as well. Uh, I wish it would fucking load. I thought by the time I finished... Oh, <laughs> don't know why the hell that took so long but let's go we got the hardcore champion finally in the proper position by the way That was okay. Well, the Wolf Pack making their way to the ring. John Cena, of course, uh, this new attitude of John Cena has led him all the way to the Hardcore Championship. Now, this would count as a successful defense if he does end up uh, successfully defending it. John Cena is trying to get a WWE Championship match, but he's going to have to do something that nobody's been able to do, and that's take down the Judgment Day when they're teaming together. The under, well, not the undercard anymore, the Wolf Pack of Ricochet and Wesley getting another opportunity at the Judgment Day's Tag Team Championships. Ladies and gentlemen, not only does the Judgment Day have to depend on the Tag Champions, Finn Balor and Damian Priest, but they have to depend on their new member, Dominic Mysterio as well. It's been a weird couple of weeks between these two factions, a lot of hostility going between them. My goodness. The Judgment Day is here. At a combined weight of 639 pounds, the WWE Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor, Damian Priest, and Dominic Mysterio, The Judgment Day! The Judgment Day have been Tag Team Champions since September, ladies and gentlemen. We are eight months into their championship reign. And man, it could call, it could come to an end tonight. One of two things is going to happen. Either John Cena is going to lose the Hardcore Championship and, and Dominic Mysterio will become the Hardcore Champion or Ricochet and Wesley will take the Tag Team Championships off of Finn Balor and Damian Priest. Now, what that means is Pretty much the whole, the entire faction of, of one of these teams will hold gold every single member. I mean, if it's the Judgment Day, Rhea Ripley's not around right now. She was attacked by Solo Sokoa. But here we go. It is an elimination ta tornado tag team match. No disqualifications. And oh, I forgot to mention, ladies and gentlemen, it is falls count anywhere. Pinfall submissions can take place any place in this arena. And this is only the first match of the night. We got a special guest referee match for the WWE Championship. A surprise special guest referee. Somebody that has a lot of hate for both Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes. So he's going to judge the match equally. I'm excited for that. Cover from Dominic on Ricochet. And he turns it around. Finn did not break that up, but that's okay. Because Balor right on the attack of Ricochet. The Judgment Day is severely holding it down right now. Can you imagine if Dominic Mysterio becomes the hardcore champion tonight that'd be an unbelievable sight to see damian priest trying to hold a two on one and now three on one advantage he's doing a pretty good job of it so far he's trying to lock john cena down this match only ends by the way it only ends when every member of a team is eliminated there is not going to be any members of a certain team that doesn't take a, a pin or a submission a loss here. One entire team is about to get uh, deleted. <laughs> Cena with a fucking monkey flip on Damian Priest. A kick out from Dominic Mysterio. Meanwhile, on the outside, you got Ricochet putting a hern down on Finn Balor. So now here is the dilemma, folks. We are at two. I was, never mind. I was going to say we're at two two-on-one advantages here. 
But now we're just going all over the place. John Cena! Oh my god, he might as well have killed Damian Priest off of that leg drop. What a way to start backlash off, folks. Huge night tonight. Every championship is on the line. Every match is a championship match. Wesley and Ricochet beating on Dominic, the newcomer of the Judgment Day. They got that Slim Jim in hand, and they are whooping Dominic's poor little ass with it. Meanwhile, you got John Cena handling his business with the Judgment Day two-on-one. That didn't last too long. There are bodies everywhere already. We are just getting started. No eliminations yet. No finishers being hit from any member of any team yet either. Oh my god, Dominic Wesley didn't get all that kick. Dominic taunting in his face because of it. And then follows that up, knocking him down to the ground. Man, Wesley can't seem to get a hold on Dominic here, but he turns that the turns the hours up around into a fucking corkscrew moonsault or whatever. I don't even know what the fuck you call that. Cover from Wesley on Dominic and a kick out at one. A one count. Oh, Damien Priest! With a nasty lariat here. Cover. West is going to have to help Ricochet, but he kicks out almost immediately. Jeez. Wesley stripping that announce table, and look at this Cena. Oh, God, what a kick from Lee. This action is so insane. There's so many bodies everywhere. It's hard to, to keep up with. Mind you... John Cena and the other members of the Wolfpack, Ricochet and Wesley, have all attempted to take these tag team championships away from the Judgment Day in the Judgment Day's championship reign. Cena teamed up with The Rock and the Wolfpack back when they were the undercard of Ricochet and Wesley, failed to take down Damian Priest uh, and Finn Balor as well. been an unbelievable match so far folks oh no wesley got a trash can right over the face of dominic and just throws it at him i don't know if dominic wait a minute it's a double cover but who's accounting for i don't think it matters a kick out either way john cena setting up for something big here potentially i don't know oh no damian priest catches him a couple of hands and a kick and a kick right to the fucking face cena doesn't go down Cena focusing his attention on Dominic Mysterio here. Look at this. Sending Dominic into the steel steps. Finn Balor, meanwhile, in the ring. Double foot stomp. Wolfpack is doing a great job right now of keeping the Judgment Day down. And we are back to another two-on-one disadvantage here for Finn Balor. Oh, my God. Cena. Oh! Tries to put Damien Priest face first off the trash can. And Damien turned it around. Wesley trying to help out the leader of the Wolf Pack, John Cena. Man, oh man. A lot of these moves ending uh, ugly. Oh my God, Damian Priest with a roll up on Wesley, but the referee taking way too much damn time to get into position there. Oh my God, Cena with the reversal on Priest. And now we got, oh my God, bear hug. Meanwhile, Finn cover on Ricochet. Is, is Dominic gonna tap out? No, Dominic hanging in there for just a little while. The Judgment Day want to hold on to their championship just a little while longer. They are almost, if maybe they already did. I don't actually fully know. I believe the Judgment Day are closing in on the longest reigning tag team championship run in World of Walker Entertainment history here. Just, oh, Damian is not able to get anything going on Cena. Finn Balor alone with Wesley, but Cena, he's got Mysterio and Priest to worry about. Doesn't seem like he cares too much. Unbelievable start to this Backlash show, folks. I'm excited to see what else goes on tonight. Mysterio going out of the ring. You can tell Dominic really wants to prove himself that he belongs in this match. I don't think there's been any doubt in anybody's mind that he's like a weak link or anything. But, I mean, if he does bad in this match, people might have that opinion. Wesley's got a fucking baseball bat. Where is he going? Who is he hit, trying to... Oh! I think Priest got the, got the worst of that. There is just carnage all over the place. Wesley with a cover. There's a double cover here. One on Damian Priest. Oh, man. Both. 
Priest and Ricochet kicking out here. Cena's got a guitar. And Dominic right over the damn ribs. That's a shame. STO by Balor. Nobody seems like they're staying down long enough. Just carnage all over the place. Look at the, the weapons and the bodies laid out, not only at ringside, but fighting in the ring as well. Ricochet sending Damian Priest into the corner here. What the hell is he thinking? I guess nothing, because Priest with the reversal. Oh, my God. Damian Priest just hit a low blow on Ricochet. Wesley's got to get in there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Folks, the Judgment Day have gotten an elimination. Ricochet is gone. It is just up to Wesley and John Cena to finally take the Tag Team Championships away from the Judgment Day. But folks, that might not happen. The Judgment Day seem like they're, they're locking it down, especially now that they got Wesley all alone. Cena needs to get out there and help his tag team partner. Dominic spending too much time taunting, paying the price for it, Emerald Flosion. Finn looking to get a weapon. He grabs a guitar here. And Cena still holding him down. Ricochet's got to do a walk of shame to the back right now. As long as, as the Wolf Pack can keep one member of the Judgment Day down at a time, they're not going to have anything to worry about. I think that's the game plan here. Cena pumping up the kicks. And look at this. Oh my God, reversal after reversal from John Cena. Oh, Bittler, oh no! Oh, the cover on Wesley, this might be an end of the three on one here, folks. Oh my goodness, it is going to be very interesting to see what the next elimination is. The next elimination is going to make or break this match. And the Judgment Day have done such a good job of now applying the pressure on both uh, remaining members of the Wolfpack in this match. Folks, we might see Dominic Mysterio with the Hardcore Championship around his waist. And look at this. We are going back into the ring. Judgment Day making a clear statement. Look at this. Springboard form. Wesley tries to dive. Try to get some kind of advantage there. And it didn't work out at all. Man, another cover here on Wesley. Referee might have taken a little too long. She did. Gave Wesley enough time to get the shoulder up. But things are not looking good. Look at this. Finn Balor with a 1916 cover. Oh, no. It's over. Wesley kicks out. Wesley's staying in there. He kicks up. Oh, God. And right into a cross face. Oh no, meanwhile, Damien Priest, Razor's Edge. Oh God, Wesley can't do anything about it. Cover on John Cena. This could be the end of the match right here, pretty much, folks. Oh no, Cena kicked out. Referee's gotta go all across the arena. And I think the time that it took for uh, Jessica Carr to get in the ring it cost the Judgment Day a fall there. What the hell is Damian Priest doing? Oh, God. Well, Finn Balor on the top rope with a splash on Cena. Oh, my God. Look at the way Wesley is holding it down two on one on the outside. Oh, my God. Pele kick. You can't say they're not trying, folks, but when you get sidewalk slammed, Onto a steel chair. It's kind of hard to bounce back from that. I can't lie to you. Balor with the reversal off the Irish whip. Oh, God. That sets him up perfectly for a shotgun drop kick. Can he get it? He does. Cena bounced like hell off of the, uh, the, the turnbuckles. And a kick out again from John Cena. But the more time goes on, it just becomes more and more like, like an inevitability of the Judgment Day. To win this match, coup de grace. Cover. It's over. Oh, my God. Cena kicked out. But, I mean, what's the point anymore? Oh, oh my God. Wesley with the low blow on, on Damian Priest. Oh, my God. But what's this? Three amigos. 
What the fuck? Sting with a stunner in the ring. Meanwhile, Damian Priest stunned off the low blow. Oh, man. If they would have gone for a cover or something, that would have been a huge deal. Referee cover on Wesley and another kick out. Oh, man. I know for a fact that Judgment Day didn't think it was going to be this, dif this difficult to put him away. I know for a fact they didn't think it was going to be this difficult. Wesley fighting his poor little heart out. Canadian Destroyer from Dominic. That's got to be it for, for, for Wesley, yeah? It's going to be up to John Cena and John Cena alone. No! Dude! What the fuck is going on? Oh, God. Cena has been put through the ringer as well, man. Look at that. Bro Derek from what it looks like. And here we go. Wesley can't seem to break this two-on-one. Oh, God. Cena. Fireman's carry from John Cena, the hardcore champion. Meanwhile, Wesley. Some kind of arm bar, it looks like, on Mysterio here. Cena with an STF. An STF. Is, is Priest going to tap? I don't even know if the referee's paying attention or not. Oh, my God. I don't think Priest tapped, but Cena let it go. You got to admire the, the resilience of Wesley. Why isn't Finn Balor breaking up that cover, by the way? Hello? Well, okay, Dominic kicks out. Don't know what the hell the point of that was. Cena, at some point, we got to get the teamwork going once again. Because I feel like they're, we're failing on that front in terms of the judgment day. Oh, my God, Cena. What is he doing? Nothing. Priest able to reverse it. Why haven't we seen an attitude adjustment yet? Why haven't we seen a cardiac kick? Why haven't we seen John Cena and Wesley team up? I'll tell you why, folks. This is a new faction. They still got a lot to learn. They still got a lot to go through as a team here. It seems like the judgment day have got this teamwork thing on lockdown. Look at this. Into the cover. And Wesley's eliminated. Folks, we are down to one. It is the judgment day. The entirety of the judgment day. Minus Rhea Ripley, of course. Versus John Cena. They picked a fight with the Judgment Day. It, it started off with John Cena taking the hardcore title off of Rhea Ripley. And it might end with all three male members of the Judgment Day whooping John Cena's candy ass. I mean, this has to be the end, right? This has to be it. It's just a matter of when. Is there ever a, a, a possibility of Cena fighting back? Got a knee right to the face, might say otherwise, folks. I'm not going to lie to you. Look at the Judgment Day. Absolutely treating the Cena like he did. He's nothing. Like he ain't worth a damn. They're about to pick the bones right now, folks. Oh, my God. Huge effing clothesline to Cena. Just go for the cover at some point. Just let's end it. Mercifully, let's end it. Oh, God. Cena with the reversal. Sending <laughs> Fowler into the freaking... Oh, God. Wait a minute. Oh, my God. Oh, no. But Priest from behind. How can you possibly come back from a three-on-one disadvantage? How can, How is that even attainable? How can you? What, what's the game plan if you're John Cena? I think you're, this is more of a pride thing at this point. But Finn going to try to put mercy on this match. Send Cena home. Taking the hardcore title off of him. And the Judgment Day with a clean sweep. Folks, Dominic Mysterio is the hardcore champion. Finn Balor and Damian Priest. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they do it. The rain continues. We're heading into historic territory, folks. This has been an unbelievable run for the Judgment Day. But up next, the Women's Intercontinental Championship is on the line. The Intercon... The, whatever. The champion, Tiffany Stratton, is going to take on one half of damage control. Dakota Kai... Can both members of Damage Control be champions by the end of the night? We're going to find out up next. Oh, man. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the WWE Women's Intercontinental Championship. Well, folks, it all started 
the Monday Night Walker after Walker Mania 6. We had a champion versus champion match. Tiffany Stratton, the new women's intercontinental champion versus the women's, inter the women's champion, Io Sky. Dakota Kai went in that match, caused a distraction. Tiffany Stratton was completely caught off guard and that led to an EO Sky victory. It has been war between Tiffany and Dakota ever since. Security has gotten involved. Police have gotten involved. These two want to just rip each other to pieces and they're going to be able to do that tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, by the, before the night is over, we could have both Dakota Kai and EO Sky, both members of Damage Control, holding their championships respectively. I'm, ex I'm excited to see what happens in this match because later tonight we got EO Sky versus Bianca Belair for the women's title. This could be a huge night for damage control, folks. But let's not take anything away from one of the fastest rising women superstars we've ever had in World Walker Entertainment, Tiffany Stratton. Tiffany, uh, this is her first, I believe her first Intercontinental Championship defense. It's gotta be, you know, maybe she feels some pressure. I don't know what to say. I mean, listen, Dakota Kai is not only a former Royal Rumble winner, the first ever winner of the Women's Royal Rumble match, but she also went on to Walker Mania 6 to win the Women's Championship off of Alexa Bliss. However, that was three years ago. A lot of things have changed. A lot of new faces have arrived, including this one right here, Tiffany Stratton, who's looking to have her first successful championship defense at the expense of Dakota Kai. Here we go. Introducing the challenger from Auckland, New Zealand, Dakota Kai. And her opponent from Fire Lake, Minnesota, the Okay. Folks, the Women's Intercontinental Championship picture has been very interesting over the, the year that we've had the championship for. I believe it was about a year ago. We're, we're Almost a year. I think at the end of this month, we'll mark a year. Um, we've had Katana Chance, of course. Uh, the JC Jane run. We've had Gigi Dolan with the championship. We've had Bailey with the championship. We've had Indy Harwell with the championship. I feel like I'm missing a couple. But a lot of champions so far. Liv Morgan is another one of them. And now Tiffany Stratton. We're going to see if we can add Dakota Kai onto that list. I feel like we have yet to see a lengthy, uh, historic Women's Intercontinental Championship run. Indy Hartwell, weirdly enough, came closer than anybody. I mean, she had a good run. Indy Hartwell's run as Intercontinental Champion was pretty fire, despite you know all of the reasons she shouldn't have been champion in the first place. But I think that's what made that run a little more uh, fun to watch. Tiffany Stratton's run, though, I can already tell she's going to be very, very dominant. Oh, boy. But Dakota Kai, let's not forget about her accolades over the last few years, folks. Clothesline. Sending Kai to the outside. Is Tiffany going to dive? Holy shit. She did. But, man, Dakota got out of the way. We are going back and forth. Dakota dodging on Tiffany. Everything's going down right now. This is insane. These women have been waiting for this opportunity. I'm sure they've been studying each other, knowing what moves the other's going to go for. We have just gone back and forth the entirety of this championship match so far, man. This has been a great time. What a show this has been. Backlash last year. Listen, that's the greatest pay-per-view we've ever done. It's going to be hard to top that one. But, I mean, that first match was fire, and this one is going just as, as great. That sounded like I wasn't sure of myself. I just didn't know which word to use. Tiffany, oh my God. Here we go. Another arm bar from Stratton. Dakota immediately gets out of that. Look at the way she, oh my goodness. The athleticism of Dakota Kai is unreal. It's on a different level. But the disrespect is just as prevalent. Oh my goodness. A slap right across the face. And that has completely opened up the door, by the way, for Kai to whoop Tiffany's ass. 
Maybe I spoke too soon. The Irish whip over the top rope. Kai goes to the outside. But again, right back up on her feet. We are really having a back and forth match between these two. It's, it's anybody's game right now. Tiffany, I don't think she thought that this match was going to be as a competitive as it was. People are seriously underestimating Dakota Kai. She's done so much in, in her time here. People, for some reason, don't remember oh, all the things she's done. People count her out. I think she has a pretty damn good chance of winning the Intercontinental title right now. But she's going to have to go through Tiffany to do it. Tiffany's done a lot herself. First woman to beat Gigi Dolan on her undefeated streak. She was she's the current women's intercontinental champion. She competed in the Money in the Bank match last year, which means she had to qualify for it. Big future ahead for Tiffany Stratton. And we're gonna see, I mean, we're seeing the future right now. Big present for Tiffany Stratton. Anybody's game here. Look at this back and forth once again, even off the Irish whips. Oh my god, even the tiniest moment can cost you. We can, we're seeing that in this match right here. Side rushing leg sweep. Oh, man. Turns it over into a couple of right hands as well. Jeez. That just seemed spiteful. Now, here's the thing. It, it's, it's very ironic. Tiffany Stratton is going to try to use her moonsault tonight, obviously. And then EO Sky is going to do the same to Bianca Belair. I'm excited to see uh, which one is more successful. Maybe both of them. We've seen a championship change tonight already. I mean, it was bound to happen one way or the other. It was going to happen. We, we have seen, we have crowned Dominic Mysterio as the hardcore champion. Is that the only championship change of the night, or are we going to have more? I, we're going to, oh my God. Tiffany Stratton, look at this. Tree of woe position for Dakota Kai. Oh God. Kick right to the chest, but Kai's had enough of that. She gets out of it. You got to be kidding me. Holy shit. This could very well be it right here, folks. If Tiffany... Oh, man. I was going to say, if Tiffany wasn't able to hang on, but she sure was. Huge clothesline. And Dakota has no choice but to go to the outside. Tiffany on the top rope this time. And Dakota not able to get out of the way on that attempt. Drop kick straight from the top rope to the floor on the outside. Oh, God. What the hell was that? Was Tiffany going for a detonator kick? That's what it looked like to me, folks. It looked like Dakota Kai just reversed her own finish, which is kind of insane to think about. We are back to square one. Oh my god, Dakota Kai with a chiropractor! That might be a road break. Is it a... No! Oh! Dakota almost putting Tiffany Stratton to, to rest. I'm thinking we're going to have a long Women's Intercontinental Championship run. But Dakota Kai is doing her damn thing right now. Oh, baby. Here we go. This is how Tiffany beat Gigi Dolan in her debut match. Cover on Dakota. Off the corkscrew and a kick out. Whew. Tiffany trying to keep the pressure on, sending Kai into the corner one more time. How about a body slam? Setting her up perfectly for what I believe. Uh-oh. Is she going for the... Is she not going for the moonsault? She's not? She's not going to go for it? What the fuck? Oh! Middle rope cross body. But that's not going to win you... It's not going to help you retain the championship, Tiff. The fuck are we doing? Oh! Kai is... He's just, going crazy with these kicks right now and these stomps. This is not looking good for Tiffany Stratton. What is Kai thinking? Top rope for Dakota. Oh, a coup de grace from Dakota Kai? Are you fucking kidding me? Cover on Tiffany Stratton for the title. Did a kick out again. Look at the frustration in the face of Dakota Kai. What is going to have to happen here, folks? Look how far Tiffany is. What the hell are you even thinking about? She's not making that. Yeah, no way in hell she was making that. What are you, nuts? Oh, but a pump kick, bicycle kick, right to the face. And, man, you, look at the eyes of the Women's Intercontinental Champion. I don't know how much longer we're going to be able to call her Champion 4 because she has been getting her ass handed to her the later stage of this match. But, oh, man, 
Shades of the start of this match. Tiffany Stratton getting out of the way of Dakota's dive. Oh my goodness. Is the door open for Tiffany to get something going here? She's going to have to keep Dakota on the ground. It's so hard to set up that moonsault. You, you got to give Tiffany Stratton some leeway when it comes to that. Oh my God. Oh my God. Here we go. Is Tiffany going to go for it? She's on the top rope. No swanton bomb. What the fuck? I keep thinking we're going to see the, the BME or the PME, one of them. And nothing ever happens. You, you can tell the pressure's getting to Tiffany. Big time it's getting to her. She's going to have to lock in, folks. She's doing a great job of keeping Dakota Kai on her on her back. Oh, my God. And how about another arm bar here? That might be a rope break for sure. If Dakota just kicks her legs out a little bit, how the hell have we not called a rope break? Okay. Well, Dakota doesn't even get out of it. Tiffany lets it go. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Are we going to see it? I think she was setting up for it. What the fuck? Tiffany didn't go for it. Why? Why? Why didn't she go for it? That was a perfect off. I think it's because Dakota was sitting up. She, she decided against it. Oh, it's, it's going to cost her. Oh, my God. It's going to cost Tiffany. Holy shit. Oh, no. Dakota. Oh, my God. Cover for the Women's Intercontinental Championship. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Tiffany kicked out. Tiffany kicked out? What the hell are we doing? Oh, no. Cross <gasps> Tiffany caught her. Tiffany caught her off the... What the fuck? I'm on the edge of my seat. I'm on the edge of my seat, ladies and gentlemen. Dakota. Still keeping the Women's Intercontinental Champion. On her back is what she needs to keep doing. She can't let Tiffany get up. Well, okay. Well, look. Exactly. Look. You see my point? Do you see my point? Holy moly. Kai setting Tiffany into the corner. Reversal from the champion. We need to see something huge here, folks. Tiffany Stratton's championship reign is in trouble. Big time. What is going to have to happen? Oh, my God. We're going to the top rope. I thought she was going to do it from the corner. Another swanton bomb. She's going for the cover. What? <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? That's unbelievable. Tiffany Stratton didn't even have to whip a moonsault out in order to retain the Women's Intercontinental Championship. Now, mind you, folks, when she does hit the, that move, it's got to be over, right? I mean, if, if enough, she didn't even do the, her finish, and it was enough to put Dakota Kai away. I was so convinced that Tiffany was losing the championship tonight. I was convinced. That is unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, up next, the action does not stop. We have a two out of three falls match for the Intercontinental Championship. It is Gunther. It is Drew McIntyre. Each man with one win over each other. We have the rubber match tonight. And it's going to be the definitive ending. We're going to have that match right now. Folks, let me take you back. We'll, we'll, we'll do this first. All right, well, now, let me take you back, ladies and gentlemen. It was Walker Mania 5. Drew McIntyre walked in the building as the Intercontinental Championship and in a steel cage match with Ring General Gunta. He beat him and retained the title. Now, we'll fast forward a year later to Walker Mania 6. The tables are now turned. Gunther is holding the Intercontinental Championship. Drew McIntyre became the number one contender for that title. 
and Gunther beat Drew McIntyre, getting his revenge a year later. Now, fast forward to about a couple of weeks ago, Drew McIntyre became the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship once again. And folks, this is going to be the rubber match, the very last time that we do this between these two for this title. It is McIntyre, it is Gunther, and it is a two out of three falls match. You gotta win twice. You wanna be, you wanna win the Intercontinental Championship? Beat your opponent two times. It's not that easy, folks. Anything can happen. Anything will happen. Some some stuff's about to go down. I'm excited. Can Drew get the championship back after? Uh, I don't even know when he left and lost it, but over a year, pretty much. Here comes the Ring General. Man, I cannot wait. These are two of the best performers we got in the company. This, this night has been unbelievable so far, folks. I was on the edge of my seat thinking that Tiffany Stratton was about to lose the Women's Intercontinental Championship. I'm pretty sure everybody else did as well. I don't know how the hell she pulled that one out. I genuinely don't. And we still got three more championship matches to go, including this one. It is going to be a war, ladies and gentlemen. Here we effing go. I hope you're all enjoying this. If you're watching this, please give this video a thumbs up. It helps the channel up. Uh, helps the channel a whole lot. Also, give the video a comment if you're watching this after the premieres happen. Just let me know what you think. What you think of this video? What you think of the actual backlash that happened? Just whatever. Um, you yeah, provide me with some feedback. Let's talk about it. Let's have a conversation. Here we go. Introducing the challenger from Air Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre! And his opponent from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, the WWE Folks, it is two out of three falls. I cannot wait for this. These two are about to kill each other. Hold on, I am gonna check the rules real quick just to make sure I did actually put it as a two out of three falls because now I'm overthinking it, but you guys are not gonna notice the difference. Here we go. Hold on a second. All right, we're good. But, oh, Drew McIntyre opens up immediately with a neck. Why is he so slow to get up to his feet? The match just started. You, you, can't, be, you can't be fatigued already, Drew. What are you doing? Oh, my God. Huge boot. That was unbelievable. Right in the corner. And now Drew opening up with the stomps on the chest of the Intercontinental Champion. This is not a good start for, for Gunta. He has got to step it up, folks. Drew is putting a hurting on the Intercontinental Champion. What a way to start this match off for McIntyre. Man, Gunther does not even seem like he's fighting back, folks. Look at this. There is some serious hatred that these two have for each other. That's been kind of a theme running tonight. But Gunther finally able to get out of Drew McIntyre's offensive attacks, but not for long. Look at the way McIntyre is holding this poor bastard down. Oh my God, McIntyre off the top rope. And let, let me tell you something, folks. I have bounced off of wrestling ropes before. Uh, that hurts. The way that wire snapped back on your skin is, oh my goodness, it's painful. 
But Gunther trying to get back in this match somehow. I don't even I didn't even realize that Gunther was back on top. I was too busy yapping. But man, Drew is just locking Gunther down at every possible moment. A cover and a kick out at one. Drew McIntyre looks confused and surprised. I mean, that's a little ridiculous. The man has been champion since February. And we are now in May. Nice little three-month reign for Gunt, big Gunt. But look at this, Gunther back up on his feet. He's had enough of the offense for McIntyre. Oh, boy. Snake Eyes, face first off the top turnbuckle. And now here we go. It is picked back up in the corner of the ring. I just want to see a competitive match, for real. I don't want to see just one guy beat up on somebody else forever. It's nice seeing some back and forth things. You feel me? Oh my God, Gunther stomping right on the hand of Drew. Oh my God, that right hand. Gotta be bruised up a little bit. That he, Gunther was putting all of his weight into them stomps. Look at this. Oh my God, the right hands. Once again, this is crazy. These two are not only wrestling, but beating the ever living shit out of each other. Oh no. Solid chop right to the chest. And how about another? Oh no. Drew McIntyre, there is no doubt in my mind that Drew McIntyre is going to start bleeding at any moment here, folks. Look at this. Look at the way Gunther is just using his foot and just everything in his, in his disposal to try to hurt the face and open up the, the forehead of Drew here. Kick out at one. But the counts are getting longer and longer the more they go on. Not only is, is somebody going to have to pick up a pinfall here or a submission, they're going to have to do it twice. And now listen, we talked earlier about how McIntyre was holding this match down for himself. Gunther has turned it around for himself. The Intercontinental Champion is on a roll right now. I don't remember the last offensive move Drew got in. And, and Gunther's going to try to take advantage of that now for him right in the face for a cover there. Disrespectful ass cover and a kick out from Drew. Gunther going up to the middle row. What is he thinking here? Can Drew finally reverse? No, not yet. He has not been able to get anything for a long time here. Look at the disrespect. The disrespect from Gunther. Oh, my God. Say, tell him to sit the hell or get up, I guess. <laughs> I was going to say sit down, but get up. And there you go. I called it, folks. Gunther not only opening up McIntyre, but you see him. He's pumped up. He's ready to go for his... his Uh-oh. What the hell? Look at this. Dude, this is brutal. Oh, no. I mean, come on. This is one of those reasons why, you know, I'm never going to try to get on Gunther's bad side. I'm not going to do it. He will kick my ass 10 times. <laughs> 10 times in a row. We are starting the count here, folks. I'd hate for this 2 out of 3 falls match to have a count out in it. It's a very serious possibility. But we'll see how this match progresses. Oh, well. McIntyre is going to send Gunther back in. He is. Drew finally back up on top here. He's got a... Oh, yeah. There we go. Shoulder tackle. I was going to say he's going to have to pull something out here because he was getting his monkey ass kicked by Big Goont, Big Daddy Goont. What is Drew thinking? Couple right hands, left hands. Strikes, just, just strikes, whatever. This has been an unbelievable match so far. What a night it's been. One championship has changed. One title was guaranteed to change, but we also got two retentions. Can Gunther keep that streak going of having these championships all retained here? Right hand to the jaw. Oh, Glasgow kiss! Oh my God, Drew knows that's not going to be enough. Drew knows that's not going to be enough, folks. So you know what? Clay Moore kick right between the effing eyes. Cover, and Gunther gets the shoulder up at two. I got to give Drew McIntyre some credit. Don't go for the cover off of the Glasgow kiss. Try to put him away with that claymore. He might follow up on it right now with the elbow drop. Is Gunther out of commission? 
Oh! Oh, what a kick out! What a kick out there. That was crazy. And this match continues. Well, I mean, it was going to continue regardless. But we're continuing with zero falls apiece. Drew stopping on the back of Gunther's head. The champions had enough of that. What is he thinking? Gunther. Oh, man. He took a little too, too much time there. But he still got... Uh oh. Forearms right to the spine. Jeez Louise. And here we go. Gunther with a power bomb. Making sure there's no rope breaks to be had. No feet touching the ropes. Nothing. Cover. McIntyre gets the shoulder up. Oh boy. What a match this has been, man. Still zero falls apiece. I don't even remember when Gunther started bleeding for real. Maybe it was off the Claymore kick. I don't know. What's the next move for Gunther? What does he do here? What can you do? Oh man, not much. McIntyre once again trying to drag him somewhere. Doesn't pay off. Now we're starting to get a little more back and forth here, folks. Oh, what a chop. How about a couple? There is about to be some serious blood flow hitting this mat. Oh God. Oh, Peach on Beach. That's what I'm gonna call that move from now on. Peach on Beach. Irish whip from the champion. Huge elbow. Taking McIntyre down. The ring general. Keeping McIntyre at bay. But we have seen a Glasgow kiss and a Claymore kick. But we've also seen a patented Gunther powerbomb here. I feel like whoever hits the next big move, that's going to get the first fall. What? Uh-oh. What is McIntyre thinking? Oh, wow. Taunting in the corner. That is disrespectful as all hell. McIntyre. Oh, man. Full speed ahead. Clothesline into the corner. We are... I mean, you can just see the fatigue in both of these men. It's not a... Uh, it's not often where you have to see a two out of three falls match happen. All right, you have to compete in a two out of three falls match. These two, you know, really only prepped themselves for a one fall kind of situation. But now things have changed, folks. You really got to step your game up here. It's just a matter of who wants it more. McIntyre definitely knows that he wants it. Diving over the top rope, taking Gunther out of commission momentarily. Power bomb. What a power bomb there from McIntyre. Now you gotta wonder if a countout attempt will happen. McIntyre gets back into the ring. You see Gunther slow to get up to his feet. Not getting up to his feet at all, just about yet. We are on number th we're on three. What? We're on six? Seven? What the fuck number? We Eight? I thought we were on like four. Nine! Gunther beats the count at nine. Oh my goodness gracious. A huge little back fist right to the face. Get absolutely wrecked, Drew McIntyre. What are you, nuts? Oh my God. McIntyre with the reversal. Drew, hoist the champion up. Off the top rope once again, folks. I'm telling you, that is painful as all hell. Cover. Can we get a first fall here from McIntyre? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How the hell? Gunther didn't kick out. He didn't kick out. Drew might win the title right here. I can't believe it. The first fall goes to the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. Couple of right hands. McIntyre blocks the third one. Oh, I keep thinking we're going to see a future shock or something. We sure are here, folks. Future shock DDT. Oh, no. Referee didn't call a rope break. The cover for the Intercontinental Championship. It's over. It's over. What? Here is your winner and the new WWE Intercontinental Champion, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. Wow. Wow, Drew McIntyre not only beats Gunther in this two out of three falls match, 
but he two owed him. Folks, that is a way, that's the perfect way to establish yourself in this Intercontinental Championship picture. Folks, we are in for a pretty intense Intercontinental Championship reign from the Scottish Warrior. This is gonna be something we gotta tune in for, folks. Who the hell is gonna stop this man? Time will tell. Congratulations, Drew McIntyre, winning the Intercontinental Championship. And uh oh, that might not be the only championship change of the night, folks, because up next, we got Bianca Belair, the winner of the Queen of the Ring Tournament. She's gonna take on the women's champion, EO Sky. Something's gotta give, folks. We're gonna find out what happens up next. This has the potential right here of being the match of the night, folks. I can't wait. Oh man. Oh man. It was last February, not 2024, but 2023. This woman right here won the women's championship inside the elimination chamber and went on to Walker Mania and lost the championship. Now, She's going to go one-on-one -on -one with the woman that won the Women's Championship inside this year's Elimination Chamber, but successfully defended it at Walker Mania 6 against... Who the fuck won the Women's Rumble this year? Why do I... Oh, Charlotte. <laughs> Bianca Belair went through three women in a tournament to become the 2024 Queen of the Ring, and that earned her a guaranteed Women's Championship opportunity. She's been, she's been having to deal with damage control alongside Tiffany Stratton. Dude, I can't wait for this. I can't wait for this match right here, folks. I'm assuming Dakota Kai is not going to be out here, but time will tell. Well, yep, yeah, there you see it. The women's champion EO Sky strapped alone today because of the loss that Dakota Kai took earlier in the night. I'm sure she's, I don't know, being checked out or something. I mean, she's she's fine, but EO going to this championship match alone. This is the first singles match without Dakota Kai that we've seen EO Sky have in a long time. Maybe that's going to make a big difference. Maybe not. We're going to find out right now. We have had two championships retained, and we have had two championships change hands. We still got two championship matches to go. I'm too horny right now. Let's let's, let's do this. <laughs> this is about to this is about to be a fire ass match. I cannot wait. Man, can you imagine if Damage Control loses both of their matches tonight? Where do they go from here? These two are pretty evenly matched here. Bianca Belair, the Queen of the Ring winner. Wow, the Queen of the Ring winner. The EO Sky, the current women's champion. Both women winning their respective matches at Walker Mania 6, and it has all led to tonight. Women's title on the line. Can EO Sky hold on to her championship? Or are we going to see the EST on top once again? I cannot wait to see what's about to happen, folks. Let's do this. Bell rings. EO immediately. Look at this. Look at the way EO, the athleticism, just like Dakota Kai earlier. But man, I really thought Dakota Kai was going to win the women's intercontinental title. I was convinced. I was so sure after her hitting two chiropractors that it was over or it was, was going to be over eventually. Tiffany whips out a damn swanton bomb and it, that, it's not even over. It, it, sorry, it was over. I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. EO trying to drag Bianca to the other side of the ring. Referee getting in the way a little bit. But Bianca, I think, was going to get out of that either way. What is she going to do here? Grabs EO herself. Where is she taking her? Does she have enough time? She does. Sends her into the corner face first. 
And we were doing a slow, methodical beatdown, trying to stop the quickness of EO Sky. Now, mind you, Bianca Belair is quick. Let's not get it twisted. But EO was definitely the quicker one out of the two of them. She's definitely more... It's going to sound weird. Slippery. <laughs> then I feel like Bianca Belair is. So the more she can keep her grounded, the more that she can keep EO in her grasp, the better it's going to be for her in this match. Belair with an enziguri. Getting up off the floor. EO was trying to do some leg damage there. It didn't pay off for her. But we're going back and forth in this match here, folks. Here we go. Oh! What is that? A spine buster? Well, I don't even know what you call that move. I'm assuming it's like... Pretty much a spine buster. And there you go. The, the, the torso of Bianca Belair is being targeted in this match. Very clearly. You see the back being abused. You see the front being abused. But that's all setting up for the eventual moonsault that I believe EO is going to attempt to hit. We're at five here. Look at the way EO, the women's champion, is just locking down the EST Bianca Belair. We're going back into the ring. That was a nice beat down there on the outside but bianca right back up on her feet trying to shift the momentum in her favor and doing a pretty damn good job of it stomping down in the arm of eo sky if you want to really incapacitate this woman you got to go for the legs i think that's the strategy that you go for when you face eo sky because the more uh pain she's gonna have climbing that top rope to go for that moonsault and the, the more struggle she's gonna have using her power with her legs to do the moonsault the better your chances are of her not hitting that move at all. But Bianca is going after all parts of her body. I understand that. But man, EO doing a targeted attack. Look at this cover on Bel Air. Is that going to be enough for a three and a kick out at one? But you see the constant torso damage from EO Scott to Bianca. We'll see if it pays off. But look at this. Bel Air sends EO to the outside. What the hell is she about to do? Dives over the referee. Over the ref. On the EO on the outside. EO tips up on her feet. What the fuck is going on? Bianca gets sent to the steel steps. What a match this has been so far, dude. Reversal from Bel Air. EO isn't able to get that Irish whip going, but Bianca going to meet her in the ring. There's not going to be any excuse to get a count out victory. You know EO Sky is not going to uh, shy away from doing the dastardly tactics that we know she's capable of. Bianca able to get out of EO's grasp before she puts her in the corner herself. What the hell can the EST do here? Sending her to the outside again. No, pulls her back into a shoulder tackle. This is an unbelievable match so far. Back and forth since the jump. And Belair gets sent to the outside of the ring once again. Is EO going to go up high or is she going to wait for her to get back in the ring? She's going to do just that. We're, we are meeting in this ring once again. And man, the forearms from the women's champion. Taking Bianca down with the forearms. She's got to keep it going if she wants to incapacitate Bianca for longer. Look at this. Huge body slam from the champion. Oh, my God, Bianca. Surprise roll-up. Can she capture the women's championship with an immediate kick out from Sky? Oh, big boot. Doesn't get all of it. Bianca's got to settle for an Irish whip. She sends EO one of the ropes. Drops down. Leapfrogs over her. What is she about to do here? Oh, Eo with the reversal of the forearm. Bianca eats a forearm of her own. Oh my God. Turns her around and drops her on her back. Man, you see Eo clutch the back of her head. I think her head might have bounced off of the mat. And now this is where Bianca's going to be most comfortable in this match. When EO's down on her, I mean, this is where anybody's really most comfortable, but especially Bianca. EO's specialty is the sky. She does high risk maneuvers all the time. She's able to leap at you from anywhere, for real. And Bianca shutting that down. She did a great job of that. But, you know, I hate speaking about that as she's getting her ass kicked right now. Look at this. Targeting the hand. A little bit of payback there from EO Sky to Bianca Belair from earlier in this match. I knew from the moment. EO Sky walked through the doors on Monday Night Walker that she was going to be women's champion one day. And I said it over and over again. I said, listen, her time will come. It will happen at some point. And she proved me right. EO Sky not only winning the women's championship, but in a banger of an elimination chamber match against EO Sky. It was unbelievable what those two did to each other in that final two. Oh my God. EO on the top rope, splashing down. Not a moonsault, though. We're going to see if that can go into a three count regardless. Oh my goodness! It was a two count. But how late was that two count? I was convinced 
wholeheartedly that we were about to see a three happen, folks. What a kick out from Belair. She got to do that a little earlier, though. I mean, geez, he almost lost here in this championship match. We're going to see if Io has enough to kick out herself into the cover. Bianca Belair for the women's championship and a kick out from Sky. Unbelievable match so far, dude. Fireman's carry from Bel Air off the top rope. And again, we spoke about in the last match how much that kills you. That, that, that going off the top rope like that sucks. But Bianca coming back, a couple of clotheslines. We saw Io do the exact same thing earlier. Triple clothesline. Taking her down and sends Io into the corner in the process. Face first off the top turnbuckle. Look at this. She's going to go for it again. No, instead. There you go. That's the leg damage. The uh, attack in the leg, just like I said she needed to do. It's the best possible strategy for Bianca. Powerbomb position. Drops her right on her face. Man, if you see it, listen, she's clutching on her face, but her knee hit the mat first too, folks. I think, look at this. Now you see the leg damage really starting to be applied to Io Sky. She's wrenching the ankles. And this is the best possible. Oh, no! Io rolling her up into a cover. Is that going to be enough? Two and Bianca with the shoulder up at two. What a women's championship match we're watching here, folks. Io Sky been a phenomenal women's champion up to this point, despite you know everything that she's done, the dastardly things that she's done since winning the championship, or to win the championship in the first place. For real, oh man. Oh Io, look at this, dude. This match is unreal. Stomping on the forehead of Bianca. Look at the way Io is just bullying her opponent here. She's got to keep the pressure on. Drops her down. And now here we go. We saw Io tease this earlier. And Bianca was getting up to her feet, so she wasn't able to do anything about it. Io going for a moonsault. She got it. Oh, my God. It's like she twisted her body midair in the process, too. Cover. And Bianca gets the shoulder up again. How the hell? Is this match still going on, folks? Io has had this on lockdown for the last couple of minutes, but Bianca Belair refusing to give up. She's got to come back, though. At some point, Bianca's got to get something going here. Look at this. Elbows right to the torso of Io Sky. Can Bianca Belair come back here? Oh! Oh, my gosh. She got her up. You got to be kidding me. KOD! KOD! Io Sky! is staying in this damn match, folks. You have got to be smoking the biggest doink possible. This is this is the most intense women's championship match we've had in a long time here. Someone's got to give Bianca on the top rope, calling for Io to get up to her feet. And she, oh no, Io caught her and drops her down. World's strongest slam style. And again, trying to soften up the ribs of the EST trying to make sure that that next moonsault it's going to result in a three count no matter what whether you like it or not and look at this EO can she do it Bianca is down she's hurt uh oh oh my god oh spear Bianca hit a spear this match is fucking crazy What is going to have to happen, folks? Oh, right hand blocked by EO. Irish whip from the champion. Flapjack and Bel Belair right on her effing face. And now here we go. Trying to work her down, trying to keep her on the ground for as long as possible. This is where this is going to get real dangerous for Bianca. Oh, my God. We've already seen all the torso damage. Now you're putting her in a damn submission hole here. This is unreal. Bianca, can she stay in there? She does. She flips out of it, goes for a cover. Io kicks out. Another spear from Bella. Io gets up to her feet. Dude, this is crazy. <gasps> Another reversal from the women's champion. Where is she taking her? Dragging her to the ropes. What does Io have in store for Bel Air? Chopping her in the chest, and here we go. Some more leg damage. She's returning the favor. She's had a theme of doing that this whole match. You see Bel Air limping off of doing that. But again, the Irish whip reversed into an elbow or a forearm, something right to the face. This, 
I mean, I'll, I'm, I'm dumbfounded with what's going on in this match right now. We have seen a KOD, we've seen a Moonsault, neither of which was able to put the other woman away. But not only that, the back and forth that we have seen in this match is unbelievable. Io realized that the longer she's on the ground, the more in trouble she can be. So she climbed up to the corner. It was a great plan there, but man, it only delayed the inevitable. Look at Belair just raining in the stomps on the women's champion. Caving in the chest. That might honestly be enough right there. She goes for the cover. That's my assumption. Maybe not, there's a lot more damage that needs to be done. Bianca turning her over, stomping on the back of the head. Why that's legal, I have no idea. But here we go, what is Belair thinking? Oh God, another kick right to the back. Io has not gotten up on her feet in a long, long time here, folks. And we mentioned the leg damage before. It's really starting to be a, a factor now. I mean, my goodness. Io really hurting here and there, there you go the women's champion rolling to the outside whoo man what a match has it been bro Bianca diving to the outside on EO Sky man Bianca has the women's champion on the ropes I mean literally now Look at, you gotta be kidding me. If Bianca Belair hits this and gets Io Sky back into the ring, it is over, folks. It is over. O-D. But you gotta get her back in the ring. You gotta get her back in the ring. If you do, I think we're gonna see a new women's chin. Oh my God. What? Oh no. Bianca shouldn't have gone for that second moonsault, man. Or shouldn't have gone for the other moonsault, whatever. The first one was a shooting star press. I, I know wrestling. Did that cost Bianca? Did going for the KOD on the outside cost her? I don't think it did. Oh, dang. Bianca Belair is the women's champion. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow, dude. Eo Sky has been dethroned. We are in, I mean, folks, we have had so many new champions tonight. It's looking more and more like a new era for real, man. This is unbelievable. Congratulations, Bianca Belair, but folks, we got one more match to go. It has been a couple of weeks in the, in the making the king of the ring. Seth Rollins going one-on-one -on -one with the new WWE Champion Cody Rhodes. The question is, who is going to be the special guest referee? We've seen Cody be the referee for, Seth ma for Seth's match. We've seen Seth be the referee for Cody's match. Now I get to pick the referee for the main event. Folks, I picked somebody that I believe will call the match right down the middle, not because of his indifference for Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins, but because of his hatred for Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins. We're gonna put my referee in a very conflicting position and we're gonna have a very interesting main event for the wwe championship up next here we go the following contest is a special guest referee match and is for the undisputed wwe universal championship well folks here we go Folks, Sami Zayn, I have selected Sami Zayn as the referee for Seth Rollins versus Cody Rhodes. I'd like to explain to you a little history but with Sami Zayn and uh, the competitors that are going to be fighting for the WWE Championship right now. First of all, Cody Rhodes, the current WWE Champion. I mean, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty, uh, um, I don't really need to explain it. Cody Rhodes took the WWE Championship off of Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn went to the main event of Walker Mania 6 and with the, with the WWE Championship, and he walked out a loser. He walked out titleless, beltless. Where your title at, dog? Co Sami Zayn definitely has some disdain in his heart for Cody Rhodes, but he oh, definitely as well has some disdain 
for Seth freaking Rollins. Let me take you back to 2023. These two, Sami Zayn and Seth Rollins, were tag team champions together. And then Seth, Sami Zayn broke the team up. He turned his back on Rollins. Not only that, injured Rollins. Put him on the shelf. It was backlash one year ago where we had a two out of three falls match between Seth Rollins and Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn whooped Seth Rollins' ass and put him on the shelf until SummerSlam. Sami Zayn would then, after this, uh, the, the two out of three falls match they had, went on to win the WWE Championship for the first time. Where Seth Rollins would then come back, try to take it off of Sami Zayn at SummerSlam in a three stages of hell match. But ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. Seth Rollins was moments away. Fingertips away. One walk down a flight of stairs away from becoming the WWE Champion. But he let his hatred of Sami Zayn get the best of him. He walked back in the ring or he, he walked you know, towards Sami Zayn instead of leaving through the cage door. And it cost him. Sami Zayn would then go on to retain the championship. And these two haven't really interacted too much since then. Not too much. But it has been a long robbery between Seth and, 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 and Sami. Not to mention the other two matches that they had over the Intercontinental and the WWE Championship at, at uh, previous Royal Rumble pay-per-views. It is a lot of history between those two. But then Cody Rhodes. I mean, the, you're, you're going to have to be the referee for the man that took the WWE Championship off of you. It's not like we're in a different reign. It's not like a lot of time has passed, ladies and gentlemen. We are less than one month removed from Walker Mania 6. We are less than one month removed from Sami Zayn losing the WWE Championship to the man that you are about to see right now, Cody Rhodes. We are one month removed from seeing Sami Zayn's uh, uh, demise his downfall. When is the next time we're going to see Sami Zayn in a, in a world championship match? We may never know. And Sami Zayn realizes that. And it's all because of Cody Rhodes, the winner of the 2024 Men's Royal Rumble match versus the winner of the 2024 King of the Ring, Seth Rollins. With, of course, Sami Zayn as a special guest referee. He's going to have to count the three one way or the other because, folks... The meter is turned off. Anything can happen here, folks. Sami Zayn might pick a side. He might not. He might just call it straight down the middle, but one way or the other, it, it's going to be getting into both of these guys' heads. Cody's going to have Sami Zayn in the back of his head the whole time. He's also going to have this. I mean, Sammy, Seth Rollins also going to have uh, Sami Zayn in the back of his head the whole time. It's not going to be a very fun match for the people involved, but it's going to be a very fun match for us watching it at home. I cannot wait to see the outcome of this. We have seen three championships change hands. Dominic Mysterio is the new hardcore champion. Uh, Bianca Belair is the new women's champion and a very dominant performance. Drew McIntyre is the new intercontinental champion. Are we going to see the WWE championship change once again? Time will tell. Here we go. We have had four WWE champions this year alone. We started off with Kevin Owens. We then went to Matt Riddle. We then went to the referee in this match, Sami Zayn. And right now in May, which is crazy because it's changed hands a couple of times already this year. In May, we've got Cody Rhodes holding the WWE championship. Can he keep it? Are we on? Are, are we beginning the start of a, of a historic reign for Cody Rhodes? There's only one way to find out here, folks. Seth Rollins with the reversal already from the jump. Cody Rhodes returning the favor here with one of his own, setting Seth Rollins into the corner. Sami Zayn standing by, and he's watching for now. 
for now. But honestly, folks, that might be the case for this whole match. Here we go, cover one. Two. Oh, man, Sam, Seth Rollins getting the shoulder up. Sami Zayn starting this match off pretty normal when it comes to these men. He definitely uh, doesn't like either of them, but he might just he might just be here to call it down the middle. Sami Zayn legitimately, folks, I'm not even trying to, to downplay it. He might genuinely not be a factor in this match. We won't know until we know. But the fact that we're questioning it is enough to make this match interesting. Cody Rhodes with the reversal. Goes off the ropes. Disaster kick. What a match this has been already. Cover. Oh, my God. Well, folks, it has begun. Cody Rhodes with a, with a, oh, man, a submission hold on Rollins, but... Rollins gets out of it almost immediately. We've seen Sami Zayn already call a rope break when there was no rope break to be called. So we already know he's pretty much against Cody Rhodes. Oh boy, get in the way. Look at this, but Cody able to get out of it because of Sami Zayn blocking the way. Oh man, I don't know. Here we go. Seth gets sent to the outside. Sami Zayn already showing his colors as the referee. Didn't even start the count yet. Oh my god, Cody, the WWE Champion on the top rope. Elbow drop doesn't get it. Seth Rollins gets out of the way. That is huge. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine the pain that Cody must be in after that? Trying not to let it get to him. He hits a brain buster. Oh, and here we go. Rollins sweeps the leg of Cody Rhodes. Sami Zayn is at two. Sami Zayn doing a nice job here of calling the you know the counts properly. Uh, Seth, Sammy at four. Is he going to screw these men out of the championship? That'd be crazy. That the main event can't end like this. It just can't. Oh my god, Sammy's at six. Seven. Oh my god, no, we can't. We can't do it like this. Oh my god. Eight. Cody saving his, his his win, and Seth gets back in the ring as well. Cody, what the hell are you doing? Oh, my God. From behind, Seth Rollins turns him around again, and then here we go. Fireman's carry. Snake eyes right off the top turnbuckle once again in tonight. What the hell is Seth Rollins doing? I'm thinking he's sitting here going to get a weapon. We've already seen Sammy <laughs> call a, a BS rope break. He's already screwing with him. And that's got to that's gotta mess up the psyche of Cody Rhodes. Real talk here, folks. Man, that kind of had me sweating. I'm not going to lie to you. That kind of had me sweating. Cody with Rollins on the top rope. What the hell is he about to do? Cody. Oh, man. Another cover. Sammy Zayn this time actually counts. And Seth kicks out. I think Sammy just wants to fuck with him. Oh, God, here we go. Cover from Rollins. And a kick out immediately from Cody. Mind you, Seth took a little bit of too uh, Sorry, Sammy took a little bit too much time to get in the position. But, you know, whatever, whatever. No big deal. Rollins revolution knee. He got it. No toying with Seth Rollins yet. He's toying with Cody. Not Seth yet. Here we go. Cross face. And a, another BS rope break call from Sami Zayn. Both of them got one now, folks. Both of them got one. And Cody, once again, going for a submission here. Figure four. Rollins able to reverse the pressure. Cody Rhodes regretting that he went for it. Both men back up on their feet. Rollins, here we go. What is he thinking here? Hooks the leg. Fisherman suplex. Oh, yes. Into a cover. Whew. And again. Oh, my God. Rollins relentless with these cross faces. Oh, my God. I thought Sami Zayn was about to screw Rollins out of the... Uh, screw Cody out of the title. No, Cody, the champion, hits a pedigree. And you know what? That's a valid rope break call. That's a valid rope break call. Cody, bad ring awareness there from the champion. But, he, but listen, Sami Zayn definitely has been messing with both of these men. Oh, right hands from Rollins. And a neck breaker. Woo. 
This main event, it's making me sweat, folks. A lot is on the line here. What what extent is Sami Zayn gonna go to to screw with these guys more? Are, are Rollins and Cody gonna retaliate at any point? Time will tell. But I mean, you reap what you sow, folks. We have seen these two don the referee shirt and screw with the other. Oh, here we go, cover. Oh my goodness, not again, Sami Zayn. You've got to be kidding me. Sami Zayn refusing to count. No retaliation yet. <laughs> Sami Zayn is just, is just screwing with both of these guys. I can't believe it. Scoop slam. Scoop slam. Cover. Sami Zayn. Kick out from Rollins. Sometimes he's doing fair count. Sometimes. This man is unpredictable, bro. Rollins going for a super kick. Cody catches it and puts an elbow right on the hamstring. Here we go once again. Figure four leg lock. And again, again, Sami Zayn, dude. Oh, come on. Another cover. Rollins rolled him up. Sami counting slow as hell. And then a kick out from Cody. Oh, God. Crossroads is Sami Zayn gonna oh, oh, oh my god how many more of those can Cody Rhodes take before he loses it Cody he's not happy he's not he's not a happy camper folks I don't blame him Sami Zayn called a BS rope break call but here we go another cover this time Sami Zayn he's counting what Are you fucking kidding me? Here is your winner, and still the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the American Nightmare, Cody. You know, I can't say that I'm uh too happy about that. I feel like we could have gotten a lot more out of that match, but Rollins did not kick out. Mind you, Sami Zayn screwed Rhodes out of that pin attempt. I'm assuming Seth was just not going to kick out of the first crossroads, which is kind of crazy, to be honest with you. Um, it was a very back-and-forth match. It was intense. There was a crossroads hit and, you know, whatever Cody did from the top rope, but I didn't think that was going to be enough to put Rollins away for a three, considering that he won the King of the Ring tournament. Cody Rhodes is still the WWE champion, despite how many times Sami Zayn tried to make sure that that uh, was not the case. Folks, that is backlash. I mean, weird ending, but I've, I've enjoyed this show overall. I hope you guys have too. Um, we will see you on Monday for Monday Night Walker. Peace out.